Jesus met physical needs all the time. Tier 1 is a basic entry point to connect with a child or family in crisis by meeting physical needs. Let's zoom back out to see the spectrum of ways to serve before unpacking the Tier 1 opportunity. The grid provides clarity to help churches take action as they are made aware of the spectrum of the needs that vulnerable children and families have in their community. If the family is intact but simply needs some extra support, the work of prevention begins to keep the family together. If there is a need for the child to live elsewhere for a period of time, the child is removed and placed in temporary care while the biological parents or caregivers work to establish safety for the children. If safety isn't attained, children need a new permanent home through adoption. Or for the child who remains in temporary care until the age of adulthood, they eventually reach transition. Support is crucial across the spectrum. As churches step in, the grid highlights three main on-ramps to take action. Tier one is connecting with a family by meeting physical needs, providing resources to help stabilize the environment of children and their caregivers. Tier two is connecting with children and families through time and relationship. This could be through mentorship, babysitting, or other relational supports. Tier three is connecting by opening your home to children or families, whether temporarily or permanently. The grid is not a prescription or a program, but a window to see the possibilities for supporting vulnerable children and families in crisis across the child welfare spectrum. Regardless of where you get involved, there's opportunity for all of us to connect and care. Let's discuss tier one in more detail. This could be providing financial resources, like paying a utility bill, or donating physical items, like a crib and clothing, or providing a service to help stabilize families, like plumbing or extermination. While meeting these needs is essential, the opportunity of Tier 1 is to go deeper than a transaction. We experience hope by moving beyond benevolence to real connection. There are some basic but important best practices when meeting a Tier 1 need. When you go to a family's home, bring someone with you. Jesus sent his disciples out two by two for many reasons. It is wise to be above reproach and protect the people you're helping. It's also a great chance to invite someone into the story God is writing. Avoid assuming anything based on what you observe or the little that you know. There is always more to the story. We don't know the circumstances that led a person to the crisis they are in. You're there to show love and compassion. If you have any questions, concerns, or follow-up, call the caseworker. As the connection point to the family, they can give you tremendous insight. Encouraging words have power. Look around and find the strength you see in the people you meet. Tell them, lift their spirits, be a light in a dark time for them. When you meet the first need, you may find other things to help with. Rather than giving cash, you should offer to provide physical items. Engaging in the process of meeting specific needs allows you to participate alongside the family. We go expecting to meet a need, but often leave discovering that a need of ours has been revealed. There is always potential for transformation. This won't happen every time, but the heart of Care Portal is this, to experience Jesus through real, meaningful connection with our neighbors.